good morning or evening to all the friends. Hope you guys are having a great day out there. A uh, lot of new faces. Hi there. How y'all doing? <laughs> Hope y'all having a great day. We are back with the legend of Stabitha. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Again, I got a couple of things in the hopper. I got, well, I don't know if the hopper is a good word, but I got a couple of things I got to get rid of first. Um, we had a very, I think the first time I played this, uh, I ran through about five hours of content. So I'm trying to condense it and still make sure it's, you know, you get the, the good parts um, until I figure out how I'm going to do this, if I'm going to try to stream it or what. Uh, again, part of the problem with streaming is just that my computer has a ten or my streaming card has a tendency to kind of cut out and skip out. And I don't get the quality, the quality, but I, I, I have plans on how I'm going to get this thing rolling and hopefully we can get that, um, we'll, we'll be able to get that going very soon. But the first few episodes are going to be, while I did a lot, <laughs> um, you know, this is, this, the first few episodes are going to be in this format. Figuring out how to allocate. And I, I chose... I don't know if I did it right now. I'm pretty sure I did. I, I made the decision to allocate everything to just health. Because as of right now, the only thing that I have for faith... As far as casting spells, really... Is just uh, a heal spell. And it does not really make a lot of good sense to me... To go out chill with a heal spell. <laughs> if I could just take the potion. Because I think the potion kind of goes through a little faster, the flask. Um, again, this is not a blind run through. I have seen some things, and that is why I look up and see uh, the tree sentinel and do not go that way. Not to mention, I see a lot of people when they when they first start playing the game, they uh, were like, I'm not sure where to go, that kind of thing. If you're not sure where to go, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> if you were lost right here, you weren't paying attention. The game clearly, clearly tells you to follow the direction of the, the, the sign of grace. It gives you an idea of which way to go. And though that can be construed as going through the uh, tree sentinel, it, it does kind of give you a little bit of an angle to where you can miss it. I don't know that I would have challenged the tree sentinel my first time out. Um, Cause he's, he's pretty big. And I kind of feel like I would have tried to avoid him cause I try to avoid a lot of big things. Uh, Particularly with Soul Styles games, because I just—it's so much time. I gotta put time into fighting them big things, man. Working it, at. and I would much rather just kind of skirt around the outsides of it. Oh my back! So we're just looking around, trying to get an idea of what's going on. I cut a lot. Um, I did go back after I. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Um, look at me looking around these rooms these rooms found another sign of grace which is always good also this is where we have our crafting station and I like that hat <laughs> like a giant pumpkin head I'm assuming he died to the tree sentinel uh, because the tree sentinel will chase you around on his horse. <laughs> he will chase you around on his horse. But like I said, it's kind of filtering you a certain direction. You can you can see that once they once you've heard them tell you that's what their goal is to filter you to give you a general direction on the way to go. You gotta get the idea of where to go. Um again I've done this before so I've been through this part. So we'll get to past this right quick. I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let my man talk. Let him talk. Good voice acting. You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. I am of a nomadic people. Selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself. 
who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. You know, if you can, you should buy us a crafting essential. The kit costs but the important thing. You will also see me exhausting, uh, or at least attempting to exhaust the dialogue options because from experience with uh, soul styles games, they will hide things in the dialogue tree. It make you it may take you to that fifth or sixth time talking to that same character, but they will absolutely hide stuff into the dialogue tree. So we want to pick up a torch and we're gonna take his recommend my recommendation and grab this uh, crafting kit and that's cool that we will never use never ever use not really I mean I just feel like the game gives you a lot like every time you take a step it's like hey do you want this crafting material hmm would that make you feel better in life a crafting material and I'm like I mean I guess if you're gonna give it to me and I just keep picking it up because it's there so you know Torch. I'm glad you so, took my warning to uh, now that I have the torch, I can tell you what I did and what you will not see. I, being the... I don't know what the word is. <laughs> it's a problem. That's what it really is. It's a problem. I spent time going back to that beginning area um, and searching in there, trying to get a to get to that that item that was hanging up on the ridge and I still couldn't get there I, I brought the the torch because I was like with this torch I should be able to figure out how to get up there right no I, I did not figure out how to get up there I'm sure there's something that's really simple and easy I don't know what it is but I felt like I didn't need to bother you guys as you see I'm walking and I'm just kind of looking around after that and I look up and see something on the ridge there and Curiosity, man. I don't know what this is. It is visually striking, though, is it not? Like, it's just right there. Just <laughs> Hello. Come see about me. So, I go up there to try to see what the Nazgul is, you know. The Nazgul. Shire. Baggins. I still don't know what all this stuff is. I mean, I, I, again, if you offer it to me, I'm going to pick it up because having played video games before, I am very well aware that sometimes, not always, but sometimes you just pick stuff up and then later on they're like, hey, there's a challenge for you to do this. And I'm like, oh, that thing that I already did. Great. That makes me pleased. And now I'm nervous. So as you see the camera kind of pan to it and me standing still, uh, some of that is me trying to lock on to it because I don't know what it is. And the way I look at it is if I can lock on to it, I don't need to be on my guard when I get here. But since I couldn't, that was all I needed to know. Just kind of walk up, see what we got here. I still don't know what this does. But, we found it. I mean, that's something. <laughs> and I kind of want to find the rest of them, but we'll figure out how that goes. It's a weird thing, though. It's out in the middle of nowhere. I'm, I'm still not sure what that is. I haven't played much since my initial play section. I had some things I had to get taken care of this week. Um, it just kind of is what it is. You ain't got to like it. It just is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, 
get down, start looking around some more, trying to find some things. Uh, and this is where I enjoy the open world feel of this. I know I, I want to say the owners, uh, not the owners, the, the developers were very keen on saying this is not quote an open world game end quote, um, and it may not be. You know what? That's interesting. It may not be, but it has a feel of open world the same way that this might show my age, but the same way that the original Legend of Zelda did. Hear me out. Just hear me out. And maybe that's why this game rings so well. Because the original uh, Legend of Zelda, they just kind of plopped you out in the world. And they were like, hey, go somewhere. Do something. <laughs> this guy gives you a sword in a cave, which you can miss. You can go around and miss that there's a sword in a cave. And then you basically have control on what you do after that. Now, there are, there are levels and ways to go. But you have full control on what you do. And that's kind of how this game feels. You you pop out of the initial area. They gave you a little tutorial on what you can't, like some of what you can do. And then after that, it's just like, hey, scoot, scoot, buddy. Go where you want to. I could attack anybody. I could go anywhere. I could do anything. Um, so this is interesting because in my first startup, like I said, I started Stabatha before. And then I came back. Uh, this area is not... When I, I, I came back when I got the Xbox version. Uh, this area is not, I repeat, not an area that I found. The Stormfoot Catacombs did not... Or Stormfront Catacombs. I did not find this that first playthrough. So this is all blind. 100% <laughs> blind. Had no idea what was there for me. And I think you'll be able to see... A little more on how I, I, I approach because we are rapidly getting to the point where it's stuff it's stuff that I don't know about um, for the most part at least like I have some vague ideas on how some stuff goes but I don't know what's supposed to happen or who's coming out or anything like that sneaky 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 And the look of this place is inviting, yet menacing. Like, I, I don't know what I'm here to look for. So as you see, because I'm not sure of where I'm going, uh, I start watching my angles more. I'm watching blood stains. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where there's a problem. And because there's so much blood in here, I know there's a problem. But I wasn't expecting that, and, and you can watch me panic right here. I kind of wish I had my camera on right there, because <laughs> I was like, oh god, oh god, ah! That little thing came out the corner, swinging, and I was not ready. And he's got his boy in the background throwing stuff. Mm. Now, I would have been fine, because there's a lost grace up here. Or, not lost grace, but, you know, you found the grace. Um, and because you found that site of grace, I would have been fine. There wouldn't have been any kind of problem or you know, issue or anything like that whatsoever. Because if I, even if I had died, it would have just put me right at the top of the stairwell. But, for a brief moment, the life of Stabitha flashed behind my eyes. Like, all incarnations of Stabitha. Roll back in the room short, uh, shields up, ready for whatever might happen. Because <laughs> again... 100% blind, saw nothing coming. Did not think he was about to come out that side because the blood stain only showed the fight, right? It did not show the ambush. It only showed the fight. Boy, oh boy. Woo! Got the blood. Get that, that heart rate up right there. <laughs> so now I'm watching how other people die. See if he dies... And this is just to see if he died in that other room or if he was fighting the gargoyles or what happened. But I'm scared. A little more defensive. And then you come... And this is just... I love this. This is just great level design. Like, you come down those stairs and there's a door. Big room. And you've already been ambushed. So you feel like you're checking corners. I'm now checking corners because I've been ambushed. So I'm trying to watch. And there's this giant room with these menacing sculptures out front. And a door. And if you've played anything Dark Souls or Bloodborne or whatever, you gotta be careful of them doors, boy. You don't know what's in there. Now 
Now, it's about this time that I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. Chunk. But I know that caution is a smart way to play this. Not great timing, not great aim. How do you have bad aim with melee, right? <laughs> like, all I gotta do is hit what's in front of me and I am awful, awful. Kind of sneak around. Now, I do have a couple of ranged options, but nothing that's gonna kill that guy up top and all this kind of stuff, so. I didn't feel like I had to do anything. Like, I didn't feel like I really needed to press this issue that much. I did want him to come down so I could kill him, though. Now, again, you take this big room that's big for ambushes, and then you bring it into this claustrophobic room. The level design here is just great. You're now in this claustrophobic hallway, and now that he's there, I'm going to follow him. See, how, see what happens when he gets there. Got fire coming out the side room. I don't know what I'm looking for. Now watching this in retrospect is funny because I can tell you with 100% certainty, um, I saw nothing but fire. Nothing but fire. But as you can see, over on the wall there is a bad guy. Did not see him. All I saw was fire. I'm trying not to get in the way. Trying to make sure I'm, you know, playing this as best as possible. And you can see an opening down there. Did not see that. Did not see that coming. Terrified. Like, oh my gosh. Where did he come from? And then he got burned by his own fire trap. And of course. Yeah, boy. Yeah, you try to ambush me? That's what you want? Get these tea bags. Get this Earl Grey. <laughs> Get this, this honey oolong. Yeah. <laughs> Stabatha is not above teabagging her enemies. It is what it is. So I know that I can run through and get to that side corner. But that makes me nervous because I watch him run through and he died. And he tried his best to get to that side corner. Now, the problem with that is that makes me concerned because I know if he tried to get to the side corner and couldn't get to it, it might be longer than I think it is. The hallway might, you know, there may be some problem other than the fact that he just didn't run right. And so I decide discretion is the better part of valor. Let's get up out of here, boys. <laughs> Let's get up out of here. I don't, there's a door here. I, I don't, I, I don't, what does it say? Monstrosity ahead? Not, nah, not be good. <laughs> All out of play when you see him in the street. Lego boy. <laughs> Took me a minute to kind of decide if I wanted to try to take that risk or not. Just to see what it was. And I am full on stranger danger mode. Now I know I don't have much, uh, many flasks remaining. But that's not what kept me from doing that. Honestly, what kept me from doing that was, uh, well, I knew I had a few flasks, but I forgot the sight of Grace was up at the top of the stairs. So I was like, I don't want to risk getting into anything. We're fine. There is a sight of Grace. And you would think, oh, well, now that you've got your flask full, you can go back in and figure it out. No, son. No. Don't want it. We'll come back some other time. Don't feel confident. Deuces. How at a play when you see him in the street, baby. <laughs> Ali. Stabatha can be cowardly. <laughs> no, not me. Not me. If it was real life, you know what I'm saying. If it was real life, I would have gone in there and handled my bending. You know what I'm saying. But since it's Stabatha, I want to I keep her safe. <laughs> That's my story. We're sticking to that. And I have a little too much empathy. Just scotch. Because I killed that guy and I realized... Maybe they're not mean, because they're just digging. So boy don't need to attack me, and he runs, and cowers in fear. And he runs, and cowers in fear. Like everybody's terrified of me, and I just feel bad for killing them. Now you never know, but 
Now he tried to hit me, so he gets to die. <laughs> I have empathy, but if you smack me, I'm gonna smack you back, punk. What you want? You wanna run too? Yeah, okay. So now we're back to the exploration part. And again, it's great. You have a general direction of where to go. You have a general idea of what to do. If you check your map, the site of Grace will actually point in the direction still of where they want you to head every single time. That is genius. Well, I won't say genius design. But that is very good design because even in the Souls don't the Souls series does not, series do not really give you a story. They have a story and they have the story playing out in the land and you have the chance to experience the story as you continue to go. It's not like, you know, you finish level one, here's a cutscene. You finish level two, here's a cutscene. You finish, you know, it's not like that. It's just stuff is out there. You can kind of pick up on stuff or you cannot. It's up to you. Um, so, allowing you an idea of where to go but still giving you, like, taking off the reins and letting you go wherever you want to. That, honestly, to me, is kind of what makes this game so much more fun than some of the other ones before. Because, you know, before they just took the they took the blinders off and let you just run wherever you wanted to. And you'd end up fighting some high-level high level enemies and mobs very early on without trying. You just, you turn left when you should have turned right. And the way they looked at it was, hey... <laughs> The level of this enemy should be enough to tell you that you're in the wrong place, bro. <laughs> you see how he one-shot you? Yeah, clearly you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> go find some people who don't one-shot you. That's where you need to go. In this game, they give you a vague sense of, like, you might want to head east. And you can head east and do whatever you want to. You can go too far. You can go not far enough. You can kind of get an idea of where they want you to go. I don't like this thing. It's just too fast. Too furious. But they give you this nice little quaint idea of which way they want you to go without overtly saying, hey, your next thing is right here. Now, they did tell me where the castle, like, you need to head to the castle in this direction. But I don't see no castle. <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm going. And again, this little area is something I, ha I didn't do the first run because I didn't get to this area. I followed a very specific path um, and it led me ultimately to the same place um, because after a certain point, I just started kind of looking around because pointing, hey, it's over there that way, that way somewhere is not enough to get you like right where you need to be. Uh, I guess I could have killed the turtle, but I mean, why? He ain't hurt nobody. He ain't gonna hurt nobody. So I just let him alone. For now, I might come back and dine on turtle soup. Tonight, I dine on turtle soup. But not right now. Ain't no, ain't no need for all that. Now, this is an area that I got when I did my first run. And this, honestly, is the area I was looking at. I was trying to make sure that I did all the things that I did prior to. So this I knew a little bit more. And this is what I was looking for. I was looking to go spelunking in the cave. Um, when I played the PlayStation version, I stumbled upon this area and I was like, what is this? Is this the cave in the middle? And I'm like, ah, maybe there's something cool in here. Not knowing what was going to happen as I delved deep into the heart of the cave. So now we start our journey spelunking. Head down deep. Pull the torch out on these bad boys see where we're going. I do like the torch mechanic too. The, the mechanic of raising the torch higher gives you a better view, a little bit, just a little bit more uh, visual, a little more visibility. 
Range in sight. How about that? Field of vision. <laughs> Makes things brighter. I also like the difference between uh, having the, the torch and not having the torch. Like, it feels dark. You know what I mean? Some games, they give you that nice gray. And I know games are getting better at that as uh, technology gets better. But they give you that nice gray where you can still see so you don't really have to change the gamma or anything. This game really does feel dark. And I respect that. I respect Bosman. Now again, I went into this knowing that this was the wolf fight. But I was trying to... And because I knew it was the wolf fight, my thought process was, what's the most effective way to do it? And that was the plan. And again, I try to play it slightly like I don't know what I'm doing. In the event to try to make it a little more exciting. But I've decided I'm just going to let y'all know. I mean, because I can come in here and be like, oh, I, oh, no, there's wolves there. Yeah, yeah, I know there's wolves there. There are a couple things I know. But again, we're about to get to the point where I'm, we are rapidly approaching the point of things that I have not played personally. Boy, you ain't want it. And now we know the wolves are coming. And uh, the big Bertha wolf is also on her way. But we're going to follow them into the hot gates where their numbers account for nothing. Into the hot gates. Hop up here. Come on up here. And the reason I want them to jump is because there's an animation gap. Something that I've learned by watching them. And once they jump up, there's not much they can do for just a quick moment. So she jumped down. She jumps up. And I get a free punch. Even though I almost timed it wrong. Ow. Tried to counter. My timing's off. I really wish I was more confident with my parries. I think that's the mechanic that makes these games so much better. Um, when you learn how to parry... When you learn how to effectively stagger your opponent... The game, uh, the the Souls games open up tremendously. When you learn how to be able to say, my opponent is attacking, I put them in a state where they can no longer attack, and my attack is probably going to be a critical hit, the games open up a lot. Mmm! That's right, boy. You can get stabbed. Who gonna stab you? Y'all know. The Return of Stabitha. Grab the crack pot, which is important uh, because that is a very essential crafting tool, that cracked pot. I also know what goes that direction. And I know it goes this direction. And this direction are just a couple of wolves. Again, I knew what I was doing here. Even though I'm playing it like I didn't know. Like, oh no. Because I was, again, uh, when I was making the video, I was debating on what, what's more um, entertaining for you guys. Just to see me play through it, or to see me play through it knowing that I knew what was coming right here. And I tried to make it entertaining, and then I was like, but now that I'm doing the voiceover, it's much easier for me to just be like, okay. I know it's there. <laughs> so, and I really need a trip. I don't apologize for it, man. This is a popular game. I, I watch people play it. I watch people play Sekiro a little bit, too. Before I played that. Well, no, I take that back, because I bought Sekiro Day Of. I bought Sekiro Blind. Blind and Bad. I don't think I ever finished that game, either. That was one of those games where you got, which I'm sure Elden Ring will be too at a certain point. But it's one of those games where once you get frustrated, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Someone help me, please. I'm, I'm, and then you put it down, and then a week later you come back and you're like, I don't even remember the buttons. <laughs> I gotta be precise. Everything has to be a momentarily. Which is why I really enjoy uh, playing Paladin. 
because I don't have to be quite as crisp with my combat. These games are very combat he heavy and I don't have to be super crisp with it. I can just kind of play. Oh, look at the boss. So I have beaten this boss before and look to beat him again. One, two. You stab. That wasn't that was not the appropriate way to handle that. Gotta be more careful with that. Mm, mm. Size him up though. Stay on the back leg. Missed my time enough again. And he's just doing a good job. He's got some pretty good range. Remaining pretty relentless. And we're just gonna circle. Like I said. Like I said. We don't have to do a whole lot. Um, we do need to be careful to not get hit. Because as you see, we are tissue paper soft. We are Charmin tissue soft. So one or two hits and we're in danger. So we got to be careful as far as our HP is concerned. But um, what I'm really trying to do is just make sure I maintain stamina. Because, because of the, the, the shield, I can pretty much block anything. Um, I just got to be ready to uh, dish my damage out and make sure I keep my stamina up because once the stamina is down, you're in trouble. Mm, get stabbed! I don't can. Back it on up. Come back in, get some damage. Forgot about that slash. See what he's gonna do. Uh, 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 uh. Went for the patented stab with a stab and missed it. And my goal right now is to keep distance, but not so much that I can't close it quickly. And I really wanted that backstab, but didn't get it. I think that's the key to fighting this guy, is to find your, uh, your, your points for backstab and get your damage in. Yeah, it's over for you, buddy. It's over for, ow, 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 ow. Oh, no, it's over for me. That was almost a quote one shot, end quote. <laughs> but that's cool. Just means we gotta run it again. Um Not sure if you guys can hear the yard work. <laughs> I'm hoping you can't hear the yard work, but there is yard work going on. Saturday, man. Saturday down south, them folks come out with that with them, them weed eaters and just. I remember back in the day, boy. Woo. So now we know what's here. I feel really confident. I feel really confident in the boss fight now, just because we got him so low. Um, the last time I played him, when I beat him on Fla Facebook, not Facebook, on PlayStation, um, things went smooth. Oh, I'm sorry, things did not go smooth that last time around. They just didn't. I got my butt whooped. I still won, but I got my butt whooped. Go back to make sure we're not being followed. He wants to come get it. Lead him deeper here so hopefully his buddies don't come. Handle him because he's light work. Not being followed. Let's go. 
get out of here. Let's get out of here. And get that rematch. Now, the reason I wanted to do this as quick as possible is because I wanted to keep as many flasks as possible. So I can just roll up and finish them. Make sure I get my grace or my, my runes. Return runes. Uh, 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 uh. Missed the stab. Bad uh, dodge. Not going well at all. Need to get some scissor in. One, two, three, four. A little bit of damage there. Back up. I'm still not getting my health here. This is a good time to get it. Nope. That's why I'm close to death, because I'm, I'm stupid. I'm getting greedy. That is one of the surefire ways to die in one of these games. Getting greedy. Don't get greedy. Take with be a, be be Alex Smith quarterback. <laughs> take what the game gives you. Even if it's got to be a hit here and there, just take what the game gives you. One, two, back up. That was a weird way to get around that that jump, but we'll take it because it worked. <laughs> Low on health, I am playing very recklessly on this. I don't recall playing so recklessly. Now I could have gone for the backstab there, but I wanted to make sure if I can go if I can go for the backstab, that means I can definitely get the flask. So I was gonna get the flask. Got the black stab right there though. Give him that old stab with the treatment. Mm. What you want with it? Mmm, what you want with it? I got lucky on that one, not gonna lie. Nope. Mm, call me Stabitha. And we end up with this talisman that gives us a little bit of a flame break. And I'm gonna be honest, I got that talisman and the first thing, literally the first thing I thought about was, I wonder if I can get by that fire now. <laughs> I wonder if I can go back to those catacombs and get rid of that fire now. And then it hit me that I left the wolves alive and I can get more runes if I go back and kill the wolves. So, that is what we did. Though I spent some time here checking around, make sure there wasn't like an opening or some secret, some secret treasure or something I could kind of boost myself with. Nothing there. Just the possibility of doing better. And then I decided to leave a message. Because that's who I am. <laughs> I killed the guy so no one's home. I should leave a message. But I couldn't find the words I was looking for, so. It took a bit of a second. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Probably should have cut this down. Didn't. I did like that fight, though, because it's really fast-paced. There's a lot going on, but it's not done in such a way that you feel overwhelmed. Until he does his, like, big move. <laughs> I'm just going to compare everything to classic games now. Kind of like Punch-Out. And honestly, a lot of Dark Souls bosses are like that. They're punch out. You got to find out the secret. Find out when you can attack. Find out the secret to killing him. He's really bad for backstabs. Um, if you dodge right. If you dodge correctly, he's super vulnerable to all backstabs. Which just whittles his health away very quickly. Looking for Behold. Victory. Be nice if it was Behold Opt Optic Blast. That would be great. Shout out to those MVC2 fans out there. Behold Optic Blast. I knew there was a victory somewhere. Again, I'd done this before, but I could not remember where it was. 
Mm-hmm. Searching, searching, searching. Searching in the day. I should have cut this down. That's I'm sorry. <laughs> there was no reason for me to keep this this long. But, I will say, that was the end of our little spelunking expedition. Well, almost. We went back and got those wolves. I don't know if I left... I'm pretty sure I left that in this video. Um, but we went back and got those wolves to make sure we got a little extra XP. A little extra runes. So we could better tailor our character and make Stabitha the grown woman we all want her to be. <laughs> On her grown woman-ish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There we go. Behold, victory. All that for that, right? All that work to scroll something out there and maybe, maybe get a vote for good. You know what I mean? Because that will require somebody get that kill and then stop intentionally to look specifically at mine up it, it doesn't make sense but I want my I want my runes hello what up pimp mm. what up yo how's that health insurance treating you apparently it's great <laughs> if you have not seen uh Helsing ultimate abridged that is some pretty good stuff there. Fight Mama Bear. Got her on her back toe. Her, I guess her back, uh, not foot. <laughs> her back paw. And that's guaranteed kill. Because again, once they get up, it takes them a half a second to kind of get their bearings before they can attack again. So, Come in. We know the drill with these two. Boom! Get a little more aggressive. Which honestly turned out to be really good defense because when they charge forward, we're already in the air. And they're well below us. Get that kill and move on, boys. Move on. So, that'll be about the end of this episode. Uh, next episode, we start getting into some things that I'm not super familiar with so it'd be good to see next episode just to kind of see how I handle some things uh, I can tell you right here right now that in the next episode because I have the fire talisman I made the decision to go back to the catacombs and confront the rooms of fire and the ambushing gargoyles and uh, we did get a chance to see what was behind that door. But that's the story for next time. Thanks so much for watching this time. I really do appreciate you. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, like I said, a lot of new faces. Welcome. Hope you guys have a good time here. Uh, and give me a few episodes. We'll get into some of the live stuff. Or, or I might start streaming. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Peace out.